Hey, welcome to Tuesday. My name is Ultra David. I'm James Chen. How's everybody going? With us is a guest. Perfect legend. Hey, everybody. What's your real name, dude? Carl White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, I said Ultra David. So yeah, that's, true, I that's, that's true. why I was yeah. wrong with what he said. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what's your real name, man? Yeah, what's your real name? Davy G. Davy G. Really? Jimmy yeah, okay. C. Yeah. And Carly W. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that no. sounds terrible. No. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about uh, the Fatal 8 tournament that happened this past weekend. We're going to talk about the Topanga League that happened this past weekend. We're going to talk about Spring Fighter. We're yeah. going to talk about Mortal Kombat X. We're going to talk a lot about Mortal Kombat X. I have the funny feeling. So Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, will we will do that. We will do that. For some reason, I feel like we have an MK-themed show today. Maybe. Is it because I play Mortal Kombat? <laughs> exactly. It's because you yeah, play, yeah, right? Yeah, it's definitely because you play. I mean, we have him here to talk about DOA, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Let's well, go on DOA. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's talk about Fatal 8. Yeah, for sure. So, Fatal 8 was this uh, tournament that was put on last Saturday for Mortal Kombat X. It was a pre-release thing. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, Maximum Esports. <laughs> it was super yeah. esports. Max, Max esports. <laughs> who was the interview guy? Is it, the guy Joshua was, Gray. Joshua Gray. Yeah, what, he is goes he like Clutch. Clutch. Is yeah. he from the community or is he's he? He's not. Yeah, yeah um, he um he started with Halo. Actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. But actually, okay. he does play Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he loves okay, Mortal okay. Kombat. Yeah, like he loves, like he loves I was Mortal talking Mortal. about it with yeah. him, and like he's, I mean, not like a pro, but like he knew stuff. Yeah. Right. No, I, I mean, just asking because he had esports voice down pat. Oh, he's super he had esports, esports Dude, voice he has e down. His, his esports voice goes into like normal conversation. Like, <laughs> yeah, so that's it's, cool. it's all yeah. like, yeah. it's him. Yeah, that's actually his voice. Um, Anyways. <laughs> so it was done by ESL. Uh, it was in Burbank. They invited eight players from around the world, including this guy, but also yeah. including uh, Tony T from Australia, Ketchup from the UK, Ryan Hart from, from the UK. Uh, let's see if I can get all of these. Um, uh, of course, MIT Sonic Fox. from yeah from Vegas. Sonic Fox from the East Coast. Did you get Ryan Hart uh, already? Forever King from Ohio. Ohio yeah. Tyrant. Tyrant yeah, yeah. from Southern California. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's it. Uh, and it was uh, it was a pre-release thing, so none of us had played the game. So what they did is they let us play it for Thursday and Friday. We basically went to their their office. Their their set. They have they have a set like a, it's a long term building. Oh yeah, it's not like some temporary uh -huh. thing. Um, and uh, and we got to play it for like twenty four hours. Well, it wasn't. It was <laughs> technically okay. Yeah, twenty four hours because it's more like twelve, 12 hours. hours. And, and then in between that, we had rehearsals and stuff. So yep. it wasn't like we didn't get to like just play nonstop because right. we had stuff we had to do. Of course, eat and stuff. Right. I mean, how many setups? Which did they was have? catered. Yeah, catered. Yeah, we had catered food. We had breakfast, I'm lunch, and you, dinner. It was super esports. <laughs> yeah. You mean we didn't have? To, you guys didn't have to like wander off randomly no. to find food on your own. No. <laughs> No, no, but I mean, how many setups did they have on the on the first two days? Oh, yeah, they had eight setups. Yeah, there was yeah, there was set oh, for dang. every player. Oh wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if they wanted to, one person could just be at a machine by themselves yeah. playing. There was a bunch of that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dang. In fact, there was nine, including the the stage one. Oh yeah, yeah. So, there was. so there was a separate room where everybody got to train. There was the eight, and then there was the main stage, which is actually where I practiced on oh, the first day nice. because uh -huh. um, you know there were only people walking around there were people who were like setting the stage right. up, and, and everyone they, like, was hopping in the other machines. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, um, so I, I I did that. Um, anyway, so we got to. Try it out for yeah. you know quite a while. Play against each other and, nice. and just just test stuff and yeah. find things out and see if, if anything was broken or just yeah. just the entire flow of the game because I mean using run is so different than using like block yeah. dash canceling in Mortal Kombat and I, it's so weird because when you run you naturally want to hold back to block just out of the run by itself not like regular playing but out of the run so I'm used to like just running and then holding back the block and I don't know where I got that habit from but <laughs> that's what happens run face first yeah and I'm like why am I getting hit by projectiles and <laughs> yeah, it just happens yeah. so I'm not used to canceling the run with block yet right yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm yeah. used to canceling it into you know attack mm -hmm. but I have to get used to it I mean because a lot of games when you run you just hit back to yeah, stop run right, right? yeah that's, yeah, that's habit, why I kept doing yeah. it yeah Okay. But you have to yeah. press a button or press down to stop mm -hmm. running. And okay. you can't press up back to jump. So I was right. thinking, like, maybe I could run and then jump back. And I can't. I have to right. cancel in the block first. Uh, and then do so you can't even cancel the run with a jump. Yeah, you can't go in forward or up, but not back. Oh, yeah, not back. oh dang. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Interesting, um, interesting. Uh, anyway, so um, any other impressions about, about the event? Uh, well, it was the results? one of the best ran events I've ever been to. Like, everything was like perfect in my opinion to a T like time schedule everything like 
uh, even when they extended the series just to compensate for they didn't want the show to end so quickly because first it was first to three and I said first to seven I was like we could settle for first to five we went for first to five mm -hmm. and it was great even though like we had like a bunch of five O's and stuff yeah there, so we did this practice run because uh, it was they treated it like a TV show basically right. okay yeah. uh -huh. so we did a whole practice run and that practice run was 90 minutes long yeah. which is way too <laughs> short so they were trying to they called like this general meeting and they were like we're trying to figure out how to increase it how about we run more media? And players, including you, were like, no, let's let's yeah. play more. Yeah. And actually, that's what they did, which I thought was... That's like, really cool. I, it was awesome. That's really cool. And like, totally yeah. not yeah, what yeah. I expected out of uh -huh, an esports uh -huh. organization, but they did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been good. a part that's of other... Uh, like, when I was in CGS, they totally took away from the competitive experience and put more into the TV. Like, there was more media, way more media... Like, for example, when I played DOA, it was one round, five matches. So instead of, like, doing a long set, it was just like, all right, each round was, like, just five matches. And in DOA, it sucked because crazy. if you start on a certain stage and you, like, go to the end of the stage and it ends, you start off at that other side of the stage. But no, right. because it was one round, five matches, you start off at the back at the start of the stage. Oh. So, like, me, I had to fight Hayabusa on the bridge. And on the bridge, he gets, like, all this damage from, you know, Azuna drop. So I would lose <laughs> or win and I had to start back <laughs> off at the top where I have to deal with that again. So... I'm glad they didn't take away from the competitive That's aspect cool. and just added, you know, more games. They didn't try to change the format or anything like that. Right, the, our right. biggest thing that we had was, okay, what are we going to do about variations? Do we want to use it so where, you know, players can just counter pick if they win and pick a different variation or treat every character as a different variation? We treated every character as a different variation. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, at first, we had talked, we've talked about this a lot on yeah. the show where we keep saying that we would like to be able to counter pick with, uh, well, counter counter pick with right. changing variations. Yeah. But a lot of people were actually starting to inform us that e different variations not only change the specials and whatever like that, but it changes the the move set, the like the normal yeah. move set completely. Yeah. Like Scorpion gets swords, and all yeah. of a sudden his range is completely yeah. Scorpion different. Scorpion is way like different in every so, variation. Yeah, yeah. Like. You have Hellfire Scorpion, who can use, like, you know, his, his tra trademark Hellfire and it's on block or whatever. But then, like, he goes into Ninjutsu, he has better footsies, he can throw out, like, launchers that right. have more range yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then in Inferno, he can extend his combo damage to, like, 40% with one bar of meter. And mm -hmm. that's what happened to me when I played MIT. Yeah. He switched to... Because I had the strategy down for Ninjutsu Scorpion. I was like, okay, if he does any of the sword attacks, I can punish it with EX Spin. He switched to Inferno, so he wasn't using those normals anymore mm -hmm. because they didn't have the range. And, but he kind of lost out on the footsies. But... If I got touched once, or if he blocked a dive kick or something, I lost forty percent. He did so much damage yeah. with that, yeah. And I was like, dude, uh -huh. what the hell? All right, like, <laughs> well, let's let, let's let's talk about the actual tournament then. Okay, talk about, okay. We'll talk about the results. Sure. Um, so let's do the top eight. That's a well, because only eight people. But, yeah. um, <laughs> let's from, start from the bottom. From the bottom, here, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so eighth place. Well, I guess well, fifth place because it was a single, single elimination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. kind, of, kind of different. So there's a lot of ties for fifth. Mm -hmm. uh, that was Reinhardt. Mm -hmm. with Kung Jin in Bojutsu. Bo um, also tied there was Forever King, also with Kung Jin in Bojutsu. Mm -hmm. They were training a lot together. Right. Um, Tony T got fifth also, Raiden Thunder God, Ketchup from the UK, Quan Chi with Summoner, and then he went back to Sorcerer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, third places were you, uh, Perfect Legend with Kung Lao, the Buzzsaw variation. That's right. And Tyrant with Pumped Up Jax. Then MIT got second with Scorpion Ninjutsu, and he switched to Inferno against you. Did he play Hellfire? Uh, no, he played Ninjutsu first. I don't think and he, he went to Inferno. No. Yeah, I don't think he played Hellfire. It says he did. Yeah. Um, and then Sonic's Fox won the whole thing with Gunslinger uh, Aaron Black. Yeah, Aaron Black. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so let's talk about the players. Okay. Reinhardt. We'll just go from bottom up. Sure. I guess. Okay. Um, Reinhardt, I was very impressed by. Okay. Because. Okay. He is he he's going into this with way less yeah way less familiarity. Like, with like he played MK9, MK9 yeah, is, he like the it, first though. year and stuff. Uh, but he still he knows about like the game. Like he knows about how oh, good yeah, Sonya was, Cabal uh -huh. was, and everything. But right. he didn't play it as much as he plays like Street Fighter or Tekken. Mm -hmm. Right. So he was kind of coming in. But honestly, I think playing MK9 less works out better because you have to like <laughs> delete like everything out of your yeah. brain about the game like okay I can't do this anymore I can't do that okay how is this different so it's easier going from like a fresh mindset to going into the game because me people are like oh you need to stream MK9 more I'm like no I don't want to play this game because I know when I go into MKX it's going to be totally different right so I think you know coming from MK9 or Injustice will be like different 
Yeah, especially because even before the show started, we were talking about how you have to cancel runs with blocks yeah. and all these different things. Yeah. Like when you play at MK9, you're so used to just dash block, dash yeah. block, dash block. And if that's what you're used to and you're coming into this game, you're like dash block run. Yeah, oh, exactly. what's going on, you know, right. and stuff. So, yeah, it, was, it makes a lot of sense. It's very different. and But he adjusted really well. I mean, like yeah. we had Tom there helping us, uh, you know, Tom figuring Brady. out characters and stuff. Yeah. So he, he put them on uh, Kung Jin Bojitsu. He put Sonic Fox on Aaron Black. He put yeah. well, I I picked Kung Lao on my own. I don't even want to tell me who <laughs> yeah. to pick. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh-huh. I think uh, Tyrant, of course, was going to pick Jax. Jax. Jax is one right, of the best Jax right. players in the world from MK9. So of course, so he's wait, go back to so him. was Tom actually recommending characters? Yeah, he was people? recommending oh, okay. characters. Yeah. Tom, cool. Tom tested. Yeah, yeah, I know. I yeah. know. So so he and he was commentating. So he he knew a lot, and he wasn't like a threat to any of the players. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. as far as the tournament goes. Mm-hmm. So he did a lot of training up with people. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, he plays Sonic Fox more than anybody. But I mean, like because <laughs> Sonic Fox wanted to yeah. play him. Yeah. <laughs> And they kept going back and forth, and it was funny because like Tom had beat him at first, and then they were like talking about Sub Zero. He was like, "Sub Zero's broken because Sub Zero, yeah, what he can do yeah, is so ice clone in the corner and grab you, pull you into the ice clone, and get a combo." Dude, you get frozen <laughs> on a grab. It's yeah. crazy. Like well, his corner heard, control is ridiculous. I also heard like he can do combos that if you breaker it, you breaker into the ice clone and you get know, frozen. I also heard that, but then I asked Tom, and he said it doesn't work like that. Huh, so interesting. Yeah, I, haven't I seen guess it I'll either. trust him. Maybe someone me. didn't hold block after they breakered. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Know? I haven't okay. seen that yet. Okay. Um, anyway, so Reinhardt, you know, lot, lots of experience in other games. Yeah. Um, he, he picked it up pretty quickly. Uh, he played you first round. Yeah, first round. Um, it was a 5 2, I think. Yeah, 5 2. Yeah, that was there, actually one of the most competitive yeah, sets. Everyone said that we. I, I've heard two things. Me and Ryan Hart had the best set, or me and MIT had the yeah, best set. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I mean, I had fun playing it because I. I as I'm playing, I'm like, okay, because that more I'm like, dude, I really don't know what I want to do with this character, and I kind of got into like a a, a mindset. Where I was like, okay, I'll just do this because it seems like it's working. From what I was playing Tyrant, it was working. But Ryan Hart anti, well, he he punished every teleport. He didn't convert it into big damage. We punished every teleport. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, all right, I can't I can't do this because teleport in this game is a lot slower than what it was. Oh before. really? Yeah, it's a oh, lot slower. Okay. It's like slower, but then it's weird because he just I don't know. It's it's weird because you kind of have to like. Just frame timing mm-hmm. the the attack right after teleport because before oh, you could just like press it and it'll right, happen, right, but you have gotcha. to wait a second and then do it. Well, I mean, it looked like the. I mean, we'll probably get into this a little bit more yeah. later, but the hat attack from it looks yeah. like it's much better yeah. hitbox than it was yeah. in K nine. Yeah, so. he has a, a overhead. Well, he had the mm-hmm. overhead before, but now it's just the same frame as his low hat. Uh, and and back two by itself it's safe and low hat by itself is safe so I can just do back two low hat or low hat and then just keep you know mixing up from there right, right. but I mean that's really all I can do with that character <laughs> now well, well, he looks interesting we'll talk about yeah, this yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay okay, okay. Um, so anyway congrats to Reinhardt because he played well you know it's single elimination so yeah. he didn't get another chance but um, well, pardon me I'm just going to interrupt a couple of times because some people yeah. are trying to ask uh, oh, yeah. Carl some questions here. Okay. so one question was did they actually encourage everybody to do as many fatalities as possible yeah they encouraged us to show off the game to people because they said okay. we are this is a show you know show off the game right right yeah okay and also um uh, I mean, we'll we'll probably do more game impressions a little bit later on. So I'll save this question for later on. So okay, go ahead cool. And keep going. Yeah. Um, so then it was Forever King. Uh, who did he? Oh, MIT. Yeah, MIT. And that was a blow up. Yeah, it was a blow up. Not did not expect that. Yeah, because I thought it was going to be really right. like back yeah. and forth and yeah. stuff. Because uh, well, I don't want. Where's MIT from? He's from Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, MIT and uh, King. They've kind of like played competitive sets before I know King got eliminated by MIT at Evo 2012 oh really yeah okay okay and then MIT I lost uh, I think CD Junior that year but yeah MIT is really good like he's been playing Scorpion forever he actually made top 8 with Scorpion beating Cabal that year oh, nice. and okay. uh, I mean me and him were basically like kind of Scorpion brothers like we complained like <laughs> why are you guys nerf Scorpion and Justice you know he wasn't that he was good but yeah. he was over exaggerated yeah, 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 yeah for sure uh-huh. but now Scorpion is like the man now he is the bomb.com. That's how I feel about Scorpion <laughs> right now. But he did well. I mean, he he picked, figured out some tech. I'm glad he, he played so well and showed mm-hmm. off. Because I don't feel like MIT gets as much um, like press as his brother does. Because Denzel is usually the one who does well out of the two Terry mm-hmm. brothers. Okay. And MIT is the one who finds out all the tech and plays all the different characters and stuff and gets Denzel <laughs> ready for it. So MIT having some, you know, some spotlight time is good. 
I like being the guy finding tech. So. Me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then Tony T from Australia. Look, he's mostly a combo yeah. setup guy. Right. So I don't think anybody uh, expected him. So he to, is a tech guy then. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. He guy. finds out like all the Cyrex stuff. He found it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. like Tony, can you not do that again? Tracks, if you yeah. find anything like that again, do not release it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, in in Australia, Mortal Kombat has actually been illegal in the past. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not now, but it, yeah, it was. Yeah, uh-huh. So there's not really a competitive scene. So I mean, he came in and he was like playing. Yeah. Tyrant, I think. Yeah. And uh, he got one. He got one game. He did. He did get a game, which he was really happy about. Yeah. But um, if you recall, he had he had he was using that converter. Yeah. Did you, did you hear about this? Oh. No, I didn't know what happened. Okay, so he had this. He had this PS3 to. Xbox One converter. Oh, I think it was the one that's been that's banned. Okay, and, uh, the Titan oh, one controller. It's, okay, it's, not, okay. it's not Titan. It's something with a C. Cronus adapter. Cronus. That's what it is. Yeah, because the Titan is actually a, 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 a like a sub brand or something of the Titan. Okay. So like, there, there's like a oh, okay, tournament okay, edition okay, ready okay. one, but I don't know how tournament gotcha, ready it is. Gotcha. So he so he had this converter. And apparently it kept screwing up the, the binding. Yeah, that's what it does. That is what it yeah. does. That yeah. is what it does. That's yeah. why it's banned. And <laughs> exactly. another thing is it does is it, it, it fries uh, other controller ports. That's what I heard. Yeah, I've heard something about that too. Yeah. It'll affect that other sucks. controllers. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it did because it, it affected Tyrant. Mm-hmm. And so they had to change buttons a couple Is that times. why he uh, lost that round? He did, he did lose a round in yeah. because of that. But at the same time, Tony told me like he had these opportunities for like big damage stuff that he was working on in mm-hmm. the back. That he didn't really do because like his buttons were not the right buttons. Mm. Oh. Okay. So he he was he was sad about that, but yeah. took a game, which mm. I think was better than he expected. Yeah. So. Um, ketchup from England. Yeah, I, dude, I gotta be honest, I was really impressed by ketchup. Yeah, I was too. I don't I look. I understand that he wanted to use summoner. I feel like he should have went Sorcerer the entire way through. Because he played so many games with Sorcerer. This is yeah. with Quan Chi. Yeah. Quan Chi, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. here's the thing about Sorcerer. He has this... I don't know what it is, but he basically pulls out a portal. And if he stands inside of it, he has infinite armor and t- while, while it's so he out has, there. He has one armor and it regenerates every couple yeah. of seconds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, like, the only way I can break is if I do, like, EX spin or something. But, like, you can't zone him. He could just keep zoning you from across the screen, right. and or, if you get if in, you're trying to pressure him, yeah. right? Exactly. He can like interrupt you if you're like hitting him. He right. can like uppercut you and get you full screen again, and then like start zoning. I feel like he should went with that. I feel like he would do so much better instead of going with sorcerer because he's dropping uh, the you mean the yeah, summoner, yeah, because he's dropping like everything. But he was mm-hmm. he didn't have to worry about dropping anything with sorcerer because mm-hmm. summoner he had to set this up and right. do that, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. like Quan Chi sucks on wake up. He's really bad, so that hits. He doesn't have any armor attack that he can do on gotcha. wake up. Okay. So with that, he can control Nutra so much more. I feel like he would do better. I mean, I still feel like Summoner is better, but I, I I agree with you that he should have played the one that. Yeah, in that small amount of time, like you can't yeah. be used to trying to do new setups and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. he had just started playing that variation. That yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So he was playing the other one. Other one, the, the, the whole, okay. whole yeah. the whole other two days. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Um, but he was beating a lot of people in the back. Like, yeah. Going even with like top dudes. So yeah. Because we were going awesome. even. It was so annoying. It was either I knock him down, give him in the corner, and just go like go super ham on him. Or he just annoys me and I lose. <laughs> like I, I, I know that he's done well in like England and Europe, but like yeah. I guess I just didn't know like how good yeah. English and European Mortal Kombat. Yeah, was, they were they're like, really good. He was right up there. I mean, when you guys were playing in the back, did you feel like anybody was sandbagging at all? No, I felt like no, not, okay. not at all. Everybody okay. was just like trying their hardest. Because that's that's like that's OG tactics, right? There. You're right. Yeah. But I, don't think anybody did that. <laughs> I thought about doing it, but I was like, you know what? With these only two days, it's best if I just play my hardest, just right, just right. try to learn as much mm-hmm, as I can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes sense. Um, you got third. Yeah. Any impressions about? Cool. Like, I guess we already talked about Reinhardt and MIT mm, matchups, yeah. but anything else? Uh, well, my matches. Well, when I played MIT, I was just like. Okay, because I remember MK9, I kind of had problems with Scorpion just based on how unsafe Kung Lao was. If I got, you know, punished on something, yeah. then I lost a lot and I probably did Vortex and hopefully, like, not get put in that situation. But in this game, you know, well, before, okay, before, let me talk about before. Scorpion's normals were really bad. If he hits you, he was disadvantaged on hit. Like, from a normal. That's ridiculous. And he didn't really have anything that he could poke with, really. And he was all about, like, you know, let me just do this unsafe move it hits, then I convert and probably can kill you off mm-hmm. of two guesses. But now, he has good normals, he does good damage, and he's mm-hmm. safe. He has safe mix-ups. He, okay, if he does his 4-4, four, four, which is the overhead, he can cancel the EX, tel- uh, EX uh, 
spear and it's safe. Ex right. spear is safe now. Yeah, yeah. He can also uh -huh. do a low into E X spear, which is safe. So after a vortex, which does like forty percent, he's like, yeah, bro, let me do this freaking <laughs> <laughs> this safe mix, mix up, up yeah. that goes uh -huh. to the same situation. So I like it's really good. I'm not complaining because Scorpion needs it. He should have had it. Just get go. He's a poster boy of the game. Right. I agree with that. So, I mean, I just want to say one thing, too. Yeah. I saw your tweet afterwards, too, yeah. where you were basically like, stop talking about Scorpion being broken. Yeah. You know, MIT played really well. Yeah. Don't take away from yeah. his. I mean, seriously, that was really cool. I was really happy that you tweeted that well, out. So. I, that's how I felt. So, like, right, I only right. tweet how I feel. <laughs> you know, I, the, the talk I talk is real, and my real is talk. So. <laughs> cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, okay, Tyrant with Jax. Yeah. Uh, he beat Tony T and then lost to... Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, I felt like he kind of like wasn't doing all he could have been doing with Jax. Well, know. that's a, another thing. Like, Aaron Black in that version of the game was... I hate to say it, He's like almost broken. Okay, so we should clarify that. Right. We, we were yeah. playing um, yeah. a, a, like a, a not fully... Up like we, we played the yeah we played the finished version of the game. However, we didn't have the hot fix, and we weren't connected to the internet because we were playing the the dev version. Well, the dev uh, Xboxes, right, right. so we couldn't connect to the internet. I thought I thought they said they were I thought they were gonna play the most updated. That's version. That's what I thought too, um, but it's definitely not because I in in that one that we played, uh -huh. Ferrator has this ridiculous string that's overhead overhead, uh -huh. and now I checked and it's mid mid. So oh I mean, really? Yeah, oh yeah. wow! Okay. So, it's not okay. so okay. It definitely, definitely, it's a, it's a different version. Okay. The one we were playing, you yeah. brought it up as Aaron Black, is that he had this really good string into a launcher that yeah. was that was. Plus and that, if you go look at the footage, that's mostly the, the <laughs> string that Sonic Fox was doing. I mean, why not? And I know why not. I mean, I'm not faulting him for that, but yeah, I'm right, just saying yeah, like yeah. that that was ridiculous because I played him like the only time it's I played really him, I played him like maybe ten games or something, and I'm just like, dude, why can't I? I can't do anything. <laughs> it was weird because like we'll run up and both like bl start playing like you know up close like counter poking footsies or whatever. And he'll do like one one two. That's what it was. Yeah, it was and he's zero and zero in Mortal Kombat is actually plus one right. because it takes a frame to come out of a hit stun right. unless you do like a reversal attack which will come out immediately. Right. So he'll do one one two and he'll like low jab and he can beat you out basically right. unless you have like a five frame or six frame right. low jab since he has a seven frame low jab. And I, just, I don't think, pe like, if people are listening to this and they don't realize how good a chain that leads into a launcher for big damage yeah. being plus one is. I yeah. Mean, and, and out of a seven frame normal to start it. Right. Really yeah, so he's normal, running at so. you. He's like, and it goes it goes high mid really fast. So okay, you can't just okay. duck it and, right, and right. punish him. Mm -hmm. You have to preemptively already be doing it. Mm -hmm. But if you already thrown out a launcher, he can just be like, all right, you threw out a freaking uppercut. Let me just run up to you and whip punish you with it. Now. Right. So he has an all-purpose move, basically. Right, right. But now that move is minus five. So players have options to deal with it. Yeah. The only option I could find beforehand is I could backdash the one one two. But by the time I could recover from backdashing, he's already recovered. So he can just run up and do it again. Right. And then so I could also they, armor through it, which, you know, I mean, he could just also do 1-1 one, one and bait it, and then yeah, yeah. then I get punished. Right, right. And even if you backdash, then not only that, you lose stamina. Yeah, exactly. Well, so if so I get caught, then I can't yeah, break her. Uh, and yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, do, you, do you actually, sorry, uh, just a tech question, because look, I haven't touched the game yet. Okay? Yeah. I just got it. Today is the launch day. Yeah. Right? So I just got it, and I haven't even put it into my console yet or anything yeah. like that. But um, while you're getting combo, does your stamina meter recover so that you can break later yeah, on? Yeah, it recovers. I believe so. Okay, yeah, it recovers. Okay, okay. But if you get caught with no stamina and you try to break her, you are about to just eat that combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's actually a really good Yeah, it's cool awesome. System. And you can't you can't spam back dash, you can't spam uh -huh, run, uh -huh. you can't spam interactables because everything like that takes stamina. Right. And right. I think that's really good. It's really good for right. viewership that's and really good for like commentating because you can be like, hey, this guy, he's spent his bar meter on spam stamina, so he's not going to have this for later on or something. Well, one of the things that I just really like is because combo breaker is one of those things that's like, oh, you're just going to combo breaker when right. it's the right time. But now there can be situations where you have the meter for a combo breaker yeah. and you find yourself in a situation where yeah. you can't. And I think that, I don't know, I think that adds a dynamic to it. Yeah, it's it, awesome. So. I like yeah. that. And my favorite thing is when you break her, you have such a long cooldown period before you get your yeah, meter back and before right. you get your stamina yeah. back. So mm -hmm. even though it pushes them full screen, if they get in on you, then you have to you have to have really good defense. <laughs> you have to hold that. Yeah, you have to hold it. <laughs> and don't get knocked down without meter because you can't get up right, off the ground. Right, like right. you have no... If no EX bar meter, you need a bar meter to do armor attack. People attacks. are gonna. So, I mean, look, this generation of fighting game players doesn't know how to block on wake yeah, up. Yeah, they love spamming something on wake up. Dude, any game. Yeah, any, any game. game. Dude, Marvel, you 
wake up raw s i yeah. mean raw launcher that's how justin lost yeah. the final round i think so but like now these mk players yeah people don't know about real block. meaties no one knows about real block. meaties they know about like freaking you know cross up and vortex and you know safe jumps and stuff but they don't know about meaties where it stops whatever you want to do on wake up right because right. in, in third strike there is a lot of times where people just get meaty yeah, and you yeah. have to have really like even in super turbo you have to really have good timing so your super to turbo was the hardest yeah because if you eat that meaty you're dead yeah you, you lose it. half your life yeah so, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so MIT got second place. We talked about him a little bit. Yeah. Uh, really cool. He did as well as he yeah. did. Um, um, I was just, I was really impressed by Scorpion. You know, he, he yeah. played, played super, super well. But he ended up getting dunked at the end by so- Sonic Fox, who blew up everybody. Yeah, 1-1-2, one, one, yeah. man. And also, apparently, that that whole little spiel that they had against each other was something Sonic Fox suggested, right? That was Sonic Fox's idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. During that meeting I talked about where uh-huh. um, we decided to do five games. Uh, you know, I didn't see that. Yeah, he, he proposed it. No, that part, but I'm saying I didn't see them do that before they played. Oh, no, I didn't really? get to see oh, it. Yeah, okay, there was a, okay. they just had a little back and forth, like, do you think your outworld forces can defeat the special forces? Yeah. And, and yeah. They had this it was, little you know, kind of cheesy, yeah. but, but yeah, cool. but, they, but they did it. Yeah. It was, um, it, you know, they wrote those lines. So I that was, <laughs> that's awesome. That's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sonic, I mean, look, Sonic Fox just turned 17. Yeah. I mean, he's, I, I, I like the guy. He's so young. Just turned seven. Can you believe that? <laughs> He's ten years. Like I'm ten you know, years. You know. Senior. You know. What's, well, you know. What's so funny is he was playing with Tom Brady a lot, right? And they're going at it each other. They're both yelling mm-hmm. at each other. Yeah. You know, and neither neither one will shut up. That's how they are. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking to myself, like, man, this dude is twenty years older than Sonic Fox. Yeah. And he is like the same personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Tom Brady so really funny. like 37? Or? Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. Oh, He'll be 38 know. actually, uh, I think this week coming up. Yeah. I suddenly feel like I have some solidarity with Tom Brady. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's, he's that old. Um, Ryan Hart's that old also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ryan Hart's like, I think, 34. was 37. Oh, wow, really? really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. It said it on his thing. Dude, people who are my age, I feel so You're, you're cool, man. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you right now, Mortal Kombat players, a lot of them are are like uh, not I'm not gonna say older oh, golden. A lot of them are really golden. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except for the guy who wins all the Yeah. Yeah, the seventeen year old. Well yeah. um anyway, so that was that was the tournament. Um just to, to sum it up, I was I was really impressed mm-hmm. by ESL. Everybody yeah. who worked there was super professional. There were lots of people involved who were fighting gay people. Yeah. Like, like Brett who was the director of oh, okay, okay. some role like that. Uh he was a fighting game dude. Okay. And okay. like at one point when I was on the mic me and uh, Brian, um, we were we like screwed something up. Like we said, like Scorpion Hellfire is the one that calls the dudes. Yeah, right? it's Inferno. Mm-hmm. Um, and Brett was like, actually, it's uh, it's Inferno. He was in our ear. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay, okay. Like you, like you know, he, <laughs> he definitely he definitely knows what he's talking about. And the guy who was judging, who was like the the um, yeah, he was part of Smash, Smash, yeah. Smash guy. Oh, okay, okay. So I mean, so a lot they of they had people in the community. Yeah, working. yeah. It was not it was nice, not the case nice. that like. It was some outside organization. Right, right, I mean, right, sort right. of, but a lot of the people were, were fighting gamers, and they, they, you know, Dustin Kane and, and Brian Compton have been working with them for like months. Oh, and interesting. it's not it's not a new thing for them. Okay, they, and cool. they've been helping to design the whole thing, and nice. So I feel like Good they're stuff. I feel like they're the first people who I felt like did esports right in fighting games. Mm, okay, I have to. I, yeah, that's I, how was, it I was really happy with it. It was. I had no expectation. Like I showed up the first day. And Brian told me later. He was like, "I saw you that first day. You thought this was gonna be terrible." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yep." <laughs> But I was just there to play MKX, man. That was the only reason I, I said yeah. Well, I mean... <laughs> but no, it ended up being awesome. I mean, from a viewer perspective. So between this and between Red Bull Kumite, it's just really cool to see the production value yeah. kind of ramping up. The only complaint I had was that the player interviews that they did before mm. the matches, they ran a little long. Like, I saw a lot of people in chat kind of complaining about it. But then again, FGC fans are really, really... Um, they have, like... Anal? ADHD. Like, they're really yeah. attention deficit disorder, right? But they also cut the interviews a little awkwardly because they, yeah. it was always like, you know, and this is how I felt about the game. Pause. Cut. More questions. And then how I felt about... So it always looked like it was about to end and it yeah. was about to go back into the action. Yeah. And then more 
kept coming. Yeah. I just felt like if they cut it a little differently, it would have. Yeah, they also had. had they also had like really a uh, short time to to do it. So yeah, that's probably yeah, why yeah, I was like yeah, that. That's true. Yeah. It was just a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But you know they, they they did replays right? There was a replay. The thing. replay yeah. thing was really cool. I really yeah. liked that, and that was on the fly. I mean, they were yeah, on the fly, yeah. and it actually had a commentator in the back, um, helping them find which which was the right, important right. moment. So and, and, they, they, they did that right, dude. Like whenever we've gotten, whenever we had replay technology a long time ago, like for different um, Street Fighter events or whatever like that, they wouldn't even tell us what clip was coming up. But, like, you could obviously tell that the guy doing the interviews knew exactly what to talk about, yeah, what the clips he, were about, and stuff like that. It was that, so. so well done. Uh, speaking of commentary, I really liked Mustard's commentary. So he's Ketchup's twin yeah. right, from the UK. Okay. Okay. And I felt like he did awesomely. Like, okay. I don't think he, he's done it a couple of times, but, like, I thought I was like, that yeah, I haven't, so I, didn't, I haven't heard his commentary they're, yet. Because I haven't went back and watched the, uh, any of the video okay. yet. It was, really, it was really good. It was really good. Okay, cool. Um, he and Ketchup are going to be commentating all of the European uh, tournaments. Nice. And there's this okay. whole awesome series. Good stuff. Good stuff. Which is super cool. So, yeah. all right, all right, cool. I mean, uh, I guess we could take a little bit of a break here when we come back. MKX came out today. Obviously, a lot of people have gotten it early and had a chance to play a yeah. little bit. So at least a week or two early. <laughs> <don't like> that. <laughs> so let's just talk about the impressions and stuff like that and how we feel about the game. Yeah. Uh, wait. What's up? What's up? What's up? Did you, uh, you oh, I guess that's true, session? yeah. We can talk a little bit about some of the other events first, and then we'll talk about yeah. the impressions, okay? Okay, right. we'll do that when we come back. Okay.